Anyone else deal with one side of their hair growing exponentially faster than the other side? Because I just cut these even like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Are we seeing this? <laughs> hey there guys, so today's video, I'm actually going to be cleaning out my daughter's room with you guys. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a video on this, but I thought maybe it would be helpful to kind of talk through why we're at this part where I am cleaning her room without her. Um, so the reason that I've like kind of teetered on whether I was gonna like share this or go into it is because we have neurodivergence in our house um, and the room cleaning has been one of the hardest struggles for us to figure out. Um, and coming from someone who is also neurodivergent uh, with ADHD, I completely understand why it is hard sometimes to clean um, and keep an organized room. So we've kind of taken a few different steps with our oldest Rev um, to help her clean her room. And we've now gotten to this part where she has asked me to clean out her room, like really clean and purge her room for her. Um, so that is what I'm doing. She's been begging me for the last like three weeks. Um, the only time she's not home is on Wednesdays and I've been really busy with recording it and editing and that I hadn't had a chance to do this yet. So we're here today and I thought, you know what, I'm going to talk through kind of how we got to this part and what has worked for us, what has not worked for us, because I'm sure others have kids that are going through the same thing and maybe you can follow this same kind of path with them if you're having a hard time. Some of you may know if like you just went and like cleaned your whole kid's room out um, without their permission, they may have a meltdown. Um, and so it was kind of a process to get to this point with her asking me to do this. So <laughs> let's start at square one. Um, so she just has a really hard time keeping her room clean. Also something I understand, it was something I had a very difficult time with as a kid and sometimes still struggle with as an adult. Um, especially with someone with like ADHD, it's hard because there's so many things in your room that you don't know where to start. And so in your head, you're just like, well, then I'm just not gonna do it at all because it just feels so overwhelming because someone that's maybe not neurodivergent might look at it and go like, okay, I'll start here and then I'll move here and then I'll move here or be like, I'll just start in this corner. It's really hard for someone um, with like ADHD, for instance, for like me, to just do that. Um, <laughs> it's just very overwhelming and you don't know where to start. There's just so many things um, and it can become overwhelming and then you're just like, ah, I'm just not gonna do it at all. <laughs> so um, the first thing that we kind of started doing with Rev from a very young age was minimizing the stuff in her room. And as she, when she was younger, that was very easy to do um, because it was something that I quickly realized like she couldn't handle a lot of things in her room, just like I couldn't as a kid. And so instead we just minimized what was in her room. But now that she's older, she has interests and she has younger sisters that she um, like Ren who gets into things like art supplies and stuff that she can't use easily in other parts of the house. And like she really wanted a craft table, which behind me you'll see what that looks like in a minute. Um, and so she has acquired a little bit more stuff in her room. So basically the things that she has in her room are books. She has one set of Playmobil that she can switch out as often as she would like. Um, she has Viewmaster and then she has her craft table and I think one puzzle as well. So I started by just kind of like backing up and letting her have her space and like curate it how she wants. Um, but we quickly realized that, um, like she realized and acknowledged too, that the days when like I would help her sit down and clean her room out, um, the couple days after that it was still clean, she enjoyed being in her room so much more. And you know, every time we clean her room together, she'd come downstairs after quiet time, she'd be like, oh, I just love my room like this. But she has a really hard time keeping it like this. And so just, it was a constant battle of like, we would clean the room and then a couple days would go by, it would end up the same way and then she'd be frustrated and I'd be frustrated because I'm telling her to clean it but she doesn't clean it. And then she's like, I need you to help me because I'm having to like point to her what to start with. And as a parent with ADHD, I'm just as overwhelmed as her. <laughs> and so it was, it was difficult. And so then I turned to making her a cleanup list. Let me grab that. So this is the list that I made for her. Um, and so it just kind of gave her bullet points of like where to start. So throw away paper pieces on the ground, throw away paper pieces on your project desk. So I, I really like broke it up, not just throw away papers. It was throw away paper pieces on the ground, throw away paper pieces on your project desk, stack pictures to keep under your desk, place pictures to take photos of. This is how I've uh, gotten my kids to be able to let go of artwork. <laughs> um, Cause you know, kids, they do a lot of artwork. We can't keep it all. So basically we t take pictures of everything and then we house it all in one place, um, like digitally for them to be able to look at anytime they want. So that's worked really well at getting them to let go of artwork. 
Um, so we have that. So anything that she wants me to take pictures of and then we can throw away, she sets on my bed nicely in a pile, uh, put colored pencils, markers, and coloring stuff away, put drawing pads and paper away, put stuffed animals away, put Playmobil away, put books away, clean out your bedside tray, put away things that don't belong in your room, put away remaining items that are still not in its place, make your bed, and then double check the list again. Um, so this was the list that I came up with her for her and it, she was very excited about it when she first got it and it worked for a couple weeks. So now we've gotten to a point where I told her, I was like, well, what would you think about this? This is where she kind of has a hard time is um, out of sight, out of mind is very much a thing. <laughs> um, and so if I were to come in and clean her room up, she wouldn't miss anything because she's not thinking about it. She's not seeing it. There's not anything that she would be like, oh, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Um, where if she tried to clean her room with me, it was really difficult to try to help her let go of things because just everything was something she wanted to keep. Even something that like had been on the side of her bed for like a month that I pulled out. She's like, no, I need that. And it's like, but you weren't even looking for it. <laughs> I will talk about later how I'm thinking I'm going to address this. But basically what I told her, um, when she had asked me like she wanted me to clean her room and I said, okay, um, why don't you, you know, she was kind of concerned. She was like, well, what if you get rid of something that I really want? And so going into this, I told her I'm, unless it's like blatantly garbage, I'm not going to throw anything away. I'm going to put it all in a bag or a box. And then I want you to just live in your room for a week the way that it is. Just don't come into it looking for things that you miss. Just come in with the idea that like you're just going to live in this room for a week and you know that anything that you notice is missing is still in this house and it's not gone anywhere. Um, and so for that, for her, she was like, okay, yeah, I can do that. So after we clean our room today, she knows that she's going to take a week to just live in her room and feel what it's like to live in it in this new way. And then after that, we can address anything that she feels she's missing and we can put it in a new place. Okay, so this is the craft area. This is our biggest problem, which we'll address in a bit. As you can see, just papers everywhere. Like she can't even really enjoy it. It's gotten to a point where there's so many papers everywhere that she has moved her coloring stuff on the ground to color on the ground. So that is my like main thing to figure out what we're gonna do over there. So that space. Um, this is her bed. That's my phone, not hers. <laughs> um, this is her bed. She's got some of her bed stuff at grandma's right now. Um, like her weighted blanket and she has like a little rainbow pillow um, that she loves. Then this is her books. Um, so I am going to minimize some of the non-chapter books, but like she can only have five chapter books at a time, but we have all of them in our room so she can switch them out anytime she wants. Um, then we have some Playmobil there. Like I said, she switches that out. She can choose one Playmobil to have at a time. Um, and then just like some random stuff. She's got like a her Halloween costume, which was like an owl sweatshirt, which she still loves to wear. And then her little um, book basket. There's nothing in that closet. It's empty. We're going to just get into it and figure out what we're going to do. First, I'm going to just go around and get like blatant garbage, put it in a bag and get rid of that first. So for sure one of the biggest issues is she has so many notebooks and journals and things. So this is artwork she just did, uh, it was like a homeschool artwork project that we did. Um, so we're going to keep that one here since she just got it. Make sure you drew our family. So this is what I'm running into with her is this right here is kind of like, you know, this is what she's been doing lately. So. Not much younger than what the typical artwork she's doing. It's just very quick, like fill the pages. So the more access she has, any kids really, I noticed, the, you know, the more toys they have access to, the more artwork supplies they have access to, specifically like paper and stuff, um, they want to fill it all as quick as possible and they don't take their time with it. Especially like coloring books too, like if I hand them one coloring page versus a whole coloring book, they usually um, take their time a lot more on it. So you can see though the difference in like this, this coloring book was the first one that I gave her, I think. So it was the only thing she had in here to color on. And you can see how intricate like all of her people drawings are where lately with all of the access to this, this, or it's just like pencil drawing type things. Like this is kind of what she's been doing. When she has access to too many papers and stuff, she stops coloring like this and she starts just drawing in pencil or just doing stick figures. Um, so we're going to leave these series, this series 
because there's stuff all over. We're gonna leave these up here. And then she's got this. And this one is still empty. This one's from her Andy Crystal. Okay, so I had one of these um, in the garage, so I went and grabbed that quick. Um, she has this puzzle she's working on, which like, I'm not going to disturb her puzzle. So, uh, so I'll leave that here that she's in the middle of. Um, so this bin, I'm going to do stuff uh, that I know she likes to have occasionally. But if it's out of sight, I don't mind. So I'm going to this the other part of the puzzle. I'm just going to move it here. My mom bought this for Rev. And it's been super helpful. So if you're looking for something to help your kids like with emotions, um, I will link it down below if I can find like this exact one or a version of it. Um, it's by Junior Learning called Feeling Flips. And it gives them ideas of what to do when they're feeling certain ways. So let's say she says that she's feeling sad. She would flip the blue one and it says, I am feeling sad. And on the other side, it gives them ideas of what they can do. So talk to someone about how I feel, tell a joke, write down how I feel, do some exercise, draw a picture, or say a silly sentence. Um, so she uses this all the time. This has been really helpful for her. I think the only thing she really has left is her bed. So all this is the garbage. This is stuff that um, I'm gonna put aside and then see what she remembers and we'll take pictures of that specifically. This is our box of stuff that's gonna be put to the side. She has also been ha asking to have her bed flipped the other way. This is the Ikea um, Cura bed. So it can be like this or you can flip it and then it can be like a loft kind of situation. And we actually ordered the kids nuggets and so she's gonna be getting her own nuggets soon. Um, so I did plan to already flip her, her bed so that the nugget can go underneath it. Um, so I'll pr I might have Ryan flip that today too, but we'll see. I'm sweating way more than I care to admit. <laughs> um, so now she's up here, she's gonna be using this again. Um, I've had a few questions on this in the past. I actually made this, so I don't have like a link or anything. Um, but it's like, it's pretty easy to make, honestly. I just made this like little kind of drop down here and then this little lip kind of sits under. I'll show you guys how it attaches. Um, I, like the measurements of this don't really matter. It's whatever you want to do. I just had it so that this part like hangs over the bed, um, like outside the bed, not over the mattress and I don't hit their head on it or anything. Um, and I made this little space to fit uh, water bottles so that uh, they wouldn't like move around or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys how it goes in. So you literally just come in here and it just clips on like that. And it's super snug so like it like it doesn't pull off easily or anything. So that's kind of how it is. I usually move it and then further over this way. So I think I'm gonna see Potentially, I think her reading books should fit in there. Oh yeah, for sure. So forgive me, hopefully this isn't too shaky because I do not have my Gorilla Pod, but this is what we're working with now. So we've got her like special books that she's got here, her baby doll, um, and actually I'm gonna take that downstairs, I just haven't yet. Um, I, she at some point grabbed a giant stack of tissues, so I'm just leaving it there, it's fine. Um, she has this little bin where she can put like little odds and ends that she may collect or doesn't know where it goes. This is my lens cap. She has some of her slice channels here that she just likes to keep. Her sound machine. Um, again, you guys saw the Playmobil already. She's got this little bag which she just made so she's keeping it for a little bit longer. Her picture of Daisy that she drew, her little feelings chart and her Bible. And here is her Viewmaster. Um, she has this Legos thing which I'm keeping in here because she has Legos that she can bring in occasionally but they stay in our room. So if she wants like something special to play with during quiet time, she can come get it but that belongs to it and it just doesn't fit in the actual case. So it's in here. <laughs> and then her puzzle that she plays with quite a lot. We got her bed situation going on. So we have all of her books in the corner there. We have her stuffed animals that she has and her light, which we need to make a little thing so it's not against the wall. 
And then her drawing table now, not craft table. So I still left the bin for her to put pictures in that she wants um, to just hang on to for a little bit longer. She has only her learn to draw books and then two sketchbooks and one coloring book. And then she has her coloring stuff. These Prismacolors are from my sister, their aunt, and her and Erie share them and they kind of flip back and forth in their room with those special colored pencils. Okay, so I think we're done. Um, if I'm really sweaty, it's because I am. I just ran up and down the stairs like several times because battery died, so I had to get a new battery and then I ran out of footage, out of space on my memory card. So I had to get a new memory card and throw things away. Um, but yeah, I, in part, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't get rid of more, but at the same time, I'm not. And I did know that like the main problem area was her craft desk, and so most of it was garbage or paper or um, pictures that we just needed to take pictures of still, and she was just kind of having a hard time just taking that next step. Um, and so, you know, it's been this like weird balance of figuring out, um, like wanting to respect her space and let it be especially as like a minimalist it can be really easy to offset your preferences your interests your style onto your kids and that's something i've definitely struggled with and still sometimes do um but i'm trying really hard to like let them have their own space but with that said like i also know especially coming from someone whose brain works very similarly <laughs> to my daughter's um there's a lot of things that like if my mom had known these things when she was younger, I wish she had been able to do those. But that information wasn't out there at the time because it would have helped me a lot going into adulthood. And so, although like I'm not gonna be able to clean her room for her when she's 20 something years old, we're taking the time now to like trial and error a bunch of different ways to figure out what way helps her keep her room in a way that is functional, allows her to still be herself, but also allows her to enjoy the space and just really truly relax, which is what her main complaint was, was that she loved all the stuff in her room and she had a hard time figuring out like, I don't wanna like let go of anything or put it anywhere else, but I'm not enjoying my room as much. And then when I would clean her room, like I said, the couple days after she'd be like, wow, this is really nice. But we hadn't figured out yet how to make it so we clean the room and she can keep it clean, you know? And I think really because looking around, like when you looked at everything when we walked in, it was really just the craft stuff that was everywhere. Like the books, she put the books back where they're supposed to go. Um, you know, her cube shelf was organized, her Playmobil was put back correctly, her uh, special books were put back correctly. It was just paper, like little pieces of paper all over the floor. The nature stuff, which is the nature stuff I said we took care of because we're now gonna change that to being outside. We're gonna make her a little box that she can like put all her little collections in so it stays outside. Um, and then the craft stuff, you know, we just have to keep our like more crafty stuff that involves like scissors and glue and things uh, in the main space so that we're more apt to clean it up right away. Just trying to figure out like how to help her be able to navigate, you know, her own room and this may not work, we'll see. But based on like seeing her entire room and everything that really was actually not where it's supposed to be or had too much of, it really was just the stuff, like just paper, um, little pieces of paper and the nature stuff. So obviously it's that. And then the biggest thing is me as a parent just staying on top of like, making sure that I'm stern with that, with like, we're not gonna be cutting pieces of paper or gluing in our room and, you know, it, reminding her why. And not just like, you just can't do this, but remind her of like that she enjoys having the space that she had when we first cleaned it and she wants to keep it that way and that it's easier for her as a person to do her crafting in the main area around everybody um, because one, she can share it, which she loves doing. Um, she's very big on like being able to show everyone what she made right after she made it. And then two, it helps her keep her room clean. I think I've said the same thing like four different ways. I don't know if this was like really helpful to any of you parents or maybe you just enjoyed watching the room become clean again. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.